Hello everyone and welcome back gaming with Priesty, the Newcastle Jets in the AFL. I'm so excited as we begin our third season in the save and we are now in the AFL Championship. Just one step away from the Premier League and we have a quick look at our goals for the season here. And then we start with a couple of contract extensions. Archie Lawrence, the young Australian we found in our first season. His contract is coming to an end towards the end of the season. So we decide to renew his contract. Only 17 years old. Hopefully he's got some more growth in him. Another one we give a contract extension to is Henrik Olsen, the super Swede. You know, his growth, I'm not sure if... For a guy who plays regularly week in, week out. Um, sure, his growth has been a little bit stunted. I'm hoping now that we're in the championship, we're playing against new, um, harder competition, different level, that his growth will accelerate. You see here our first signing of the season, Jack Ramsey. We find him on the free agents list guys and you've got to check your free agents list every season boys because you will find some absolute gems i think the hard part is not over relying on it you know i think five or six signings over the off season i think is really good you don't want to rejig your whole team every single time in a playthrough like this as you see another signing Ethan Laird, right wing back, 21-year-old um, we found again on the free agents list, and he will probably slide straight into the first team in front of Richardson. Here we make our first transfer fee signing of the season, Thomas Dang, former Melbourne Victory player. You know what, guys? I want to just go back to our roots from Australia a little bit. Um, you know, not the highest rated overall centre back, but he's got some rapid pace for a centre back. And he won't be an immediate starter, I don't think. Um, but yeah, he will be first option off the bench for a lot of cup games. And yeah. It's just the way the cards kind of work. He will be a really good player for us, Thomas Ding, I believe. Our next signing, I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. Oh, my. No, I'm not even going to try it. Um, you see here, we try to get rid of Lucas Knowles. No one wants to get, no one wants to take Lucas Knowles. I tell you what, it's almost embarrassing. We offer Lucas plus four million. And the Norwich manager just says, nah, mate, the Canaries, we only take the cash. We don't, we don't want Lucas. So poor Lucas is stuck with us for a little while longer. But we do bring him on board. Um, not paying around 11, uh, no, 15,000 plus a substantial sign on fee. But he'll go straight into our starting 11 and... Only young, so hopefully we'll see a lot of growth. Here we go, boys. This is going to be controversial amongst all the Jets fans. So we need an upgrade with a keeper. I we'll have a bit of a long-term plan. I'd like to keep an Aussie in goals. So this is a bit of a stepping stone. Lawrence Thomas, 69 rated, former Melbourne Victory goalkeeper, Won the Joe Mars the medal in the grand final when the victory beat the Jets 1-0 in the Vargate grand final. Oh my god, talk about being robbed. Um, but anyway, so we've decided to bring him in in front of um, Jack Duncan, who's been so good for us over the last few seasons. But, you know, he... 69 is about five ratings points. It's a significant improvement on him. And then Lawrence is going to be a stepping stone, hopefully, for us to someone a little bit bigger. You see here, we also get some offers that we... I think we accept an offer for one of our third or fourth string centre-backs. And then we reject a few offers. We do accept an offer for... 
a young goalkeeper to go out on loan. Hopefully he can improve a lot. And then he's another option for a long-term replacement in goals. But this, guys, is the one I'm seriously excited about. We bring in Adam Taggart back. To the Jets, a couple of couple of million from the J League, uh, only 70 rated overall, and there's no growth in him. But 30 years old now, and um, he can be a leader, someone like Olsen to learn off. And you know, like I said a bit about Thomas Ding, some of the stats are more important than the others. So he's going to be a really big contributor for us this season. Adam Taggart. Welcome back to the Jets, son. Um, really happy that I could bring someone from our past back to the club in the playthrough. You see here, I'm just working out the wage split with um, right there to go to Rail Sociedad, Sociedad B. Um, see Riley Wallen, some offers there for him, but I think I'll just reject those. He could come in handy as a third string Centre back, you also see an offer come in for Clinton Antwi, and we're not going to let him go. He's our starting left wing back with hopefully plenty of growth left in him. And we have a look at the teams in the AFL Championship. Some really big clubs with uh, Premier League pedigree. And um, yeah, it's going to be a really interesting season. We start the league season off against Portsmouth. I've got to tell you what, I would have preferred to play one of the other big clubs, to be honest, because a team like Portsmouth, you know they've just come up from League One with us. They come up through the championship. They've got everything to prove. Everyone thinks that they're going to struggle um, and be in a rele relegation dogfight. And if there's one game of the season you probably don't want to play them in, it's the opening game where they want to come in with everything to prove as we run through the squad. We have a look at all the players we have and their ratings um, so you guys can check them out. And, um, yeah, I, I must admit I wasn't overly happy when I saw that we were drawn against Pompey for the first league game of the season. I've got to tell you what, Lucas Knowles, I just can't get rid of that bloke. <laughs> I'd love to get rid of him. Uh, a mil or 750 grand, you know, I'd take that, <laughs> to be honest. But no one wants to have him. I, so many times I try to get rid of him in a transfer deal and no one wanted him. And he, we do start the season here at McDonald Jones Stadium. And just 10 minutes into the game, Oh, nice effort there. Um, I'd really like to get us off to a winning start to the season. Pick up three points and try and silence the critics. And tell you what about silence critics. Silencing critics. Lawrence Thomas there. What an amazing save. Comes in. An amazing save. First touch of the football. And I tell you what. That was a high standard to set for the season from the former Melbourne victory man who's now in goals for us. Check out the replay there. Olsen, the super Swedes, going to score for sure. The defender just sticks a peg out in hope. And score a main nil all, but not for long. Olsen takes a nice shot. The ball finds kindly for Carlos Castro. CC and dry. And I've got to tell you, I was not amazed at all that he would be the first goal scorer of the season for the Newcastle Jets. We know how important he was for us last season. Move on here into the second half. Score remaining 1-0. Pompey knocking the ball around in the box. And Lawrence Thomas! What a save! Absolutely amazing. And then right before uh, 60 minutes into the game, we would score the second. Carlos Ch Castro again with the brace. And I've got to tell you what, we could see some big improvement from him this season playing in the championship. That's what I'm really relying on. Lawrence Thomas, that is three big, big saves in this game so far. I've got to tell you, 
um, Portsmouth came at us towards the end of this game here. But we would hold on for the clean sheet. 2 0 victory. Absolutely amazing way to start the season for the Newcastle Jets. I've got to tell you, I'm not sure what the goal should be this season, guys. Get down in your comments. What do you think we should be aiming for? Just to avoid relegation? Mid table finish? Top half finish? Or should we aim should we be aiming for the playoffs? Should we be aiming um, for automatic promotion, surely we shouldn't be aiming for the league title. It's finally, an offer comes in for Lucas Knowles, and we were able to get rid of him. You know, we, he came into the squad from the academy with high hopes, but he just wasn't getting the game time, wasn't improving, wasn't getting a run, as we said, on the field. And so it's time for him to go. Lawrence Thomas... Once again, comes up with a big save. This is one guy who we've brought in from the academy. Mitchell, he's got no number. Again, just like Ed Gibbons. But what a finish. i tell you what. He's absolutely rapid. There's not much of him. But he is going to be a goal-scoring threat when he gets a chance or for a start or on off the bench this season. We're 1-0 up away from home against Stoke at the Britannia Stadium. And we should have made it two right there. Ewan McKinley, unlucky there. Mitchell plays a gorgeous ball in there for Laird, I think it is. And he forces a good stop from the Stoke keeper. Tell you what, Campbell there for Stoke. He caused us problems all day. Lawrence Thomas in goals. He looks almost un. Beatable to start the season. Score remain 1-0 at halftime, as you can see there. Moving to the second half here. Barrios here holds the ball up, and that is an absolutely gorgeous goal from the Argentinian. And it would be 2-0 up away from home against State. State, credit to them, came back into the game. You see here, Campbell, beautiful strike. There was nothing Lawrence Thomas could do about that. And you see here, I win the ball there with Thomas Dang and just part, try to pass it, just give it straight to the Stoke striker from a tight angle. Maybe he could have done better, but he didn't, and I'm not going to complain about that as we get away to an absolutely un. Unbelievable start here in the AFL Championship. Two wins from two games as we reject an offer here for Archie Lawrence. Yeah, two wins from two games, sitting third in the table, only early in the season. But I've got to tell you what, guys, I've got a good feeling about how this season is going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's opening episode. And if you did, leave a like and a comment, and I'll catch you guys next time.